In this video, I'm going to show you how to disassemble, clean, and reassemble your pistol. For this tutorial, you will need a solvent of some sort. I'm using Hops Number no. 9. This is available pretty much everywhere. Some Q-tips, cut up pieces of t-shirt, a handgun cleaning kit is helpful, some jags for your specific barrel size, any type of oil. I'm just using some dirt bike oil I had on the shelf, and some multi-purpose grease. First step is to disassemble the pistol. This specific gun is a Taurus Millennium G2, but the same principle applies to any pistol. Remove your clip, set it aside, lock it back, make sure there's no round in the chamber. I can see that there is nothing here. I don't know if you can see that, but it is cleared. I'm going to return it. I'm going to fire it. To remove the slide, I'm going to pull it back slightly. These little tabs right here, right here, and right here, I'm going to simultaneously pull down and let the slide move forward. Then it's free to move forward and disassemble. I'm going to set this aside. This little spring here will just move up. There's not much force on it, so don't worry about it flying off. Remove that, and then here's the barrel. This will just remove like this. So all I have are four pieces. The next step is to apply the solvent to your gun to let it sit and start to remove the different deposits that are on it. So I'm going to get a Q-tip, dip it in the solvent, and just put it on the steel parts. Every time I dip it in the solvent, I'm moving it to a clean part of the Q-tip so I don't contaminate the solvent. Now that everything is coated, I'm going to get a paper towel and wipe off all of the loosened deposits. Any of the spots I can't reach with my fingers in the paper towel, I'm going to use a Q-tip. Once everything has been cleaned, set everything aside except for the barrel. For the barrel, we'll be using this small pistol grip attachment, so I'm getting my little wire brush. Grabbing a Ziploc bag or a plastic bottle is, is handy because once you insert your brushes into the pistol and they come out the other side, they're going to want to spring open and they're going to fling solvent everywhere. So this is just a tip to not make a mess. So what I'm going to do is get the handle with the wire brush and dip it into the solvent. Insert it into the barrel. Stick the other end of the barrel into the water bottle or Ziploc bag and slide the wire brush through. As you can see, all this splatter right here, this would have gone everywhere otherwise. Looks like the easiest way is to just pin the barrel down with the bag surrounding it and slide the wire brush in and out. After I've done this several times, I'm going to remove the barrel. I'm going to remove the wire brush from the ends here. Now I'm going to get my jag and install it on the end of the handle. I'm going to get the t-shirt and poke the jag through it like this. And I'm going to snip off the t-shirt right here to make a small piece. Now I'm going to just slide this through the barrel. Do not let this t-shirt go back through, so I'm just going to remove it and pull the jag back through. And I'm going to flip this inside out and run it through again to get the rest of the old solvent and dirty deposits. That should be clean now. That's the cleaning stage. Now we're going to oil everything up. So same as before, I'm going to get the jag, poke it on the bit of the t-shirt. So now I should just have a clean small piece of t-shirt. Time to get the oil that you collected. I'm just going to fill this little cap here with oil to dip my q-tips in so I'm going to dip a bit of the t-shirt in the oil you don't need much now same as before I'm just going to slide it through now the inside of the barrel should have a light layer of oil now I am going to just put apply a light layer of oil over the outside of the barrel so here I'm going to wrap my finger around the paper towel dip it in and very really lightly put some oil on it Set this aside, get your other pieces. Since I can't reach my finger in here very well, I'm going to use my Q-tip. Just oil it up. Any excess, I'm just going to quickly wipe away. Now the slide, put the oil in just like everything else. 
Now everything should have a small layer of oil over it so it does not rust or develop excessive wear. This step is optional but I like to do it on the wear spots is put a very light layer of grease. So I'm going to get the grease and put a very small dab on my Q-tip. And where these slide contacts right here on these rails, I'm going to put grease there to try to reduce the wear from when this constantly slides back and forth. So I'm just going to put a light bit right here. And also in here. Now it's ready to assemble everything back together. So it's the exact opposite of how we disassemble it. So get your barrel, insert it in, get the spring, put it in first here, just like that. Then we're gonna slide it on the rails right here. So just like this. Make sure everything lines up right here. Once it's on, pull it back. Make sure everything is in place and secure. And I'm gonna do one final wipe with the clean paper towel. We're gonna save your magazine. And this is good to store for a very long time without developing rust. But don't let water get directly on it, obviously but it should be resistant to normal moisture in the air. I do this after every shooting session. This gun has well over 2,000 rounds through it and still looks very good condition. As long as you oil clean it every time, this will last a long time. If this video is helpful, please like and subscribe.